Now for the team's plane in Region 3, Single A, the playoffs are already here. The top four teams from the East subregion will play crossover games against the top four teams in the West subregion to determine who goes to the state playoffs. In Friday night, Savannah Country Day, the number three seed from the East travels to Wrightsville to face the West's number two team, Johnson County. Savannah Country Day has made the state playoffs the last seven seasons, but making it eight in a row is going to be a challenge. The Hornets have been badly stung by the injury bug as the season has wound down. Key losses to linebackers Mac Virus and Zach Crute have left the defense struggling to stop opponents, and then a leg injury to quarterback Tate O'Connor has made things all the more bleak. While backup quarterback Cord Glaze is a fine player, one has to wonder how high the Hornets' confidence is after being upset last week by a previously winless Bryan County. Johnson County, on the other hand, is loaded. And if SCD is going to defeat the number seven ranked Trojans, they have to figure out how to stop Johnson quarterback DJ Rozier. The junior's numbers are flat out gaudy. He has completed 107 of 159 passes, that's 67% for you math majors, and that has totaled nearly 1,700 yards and 19 touchdowns. Oh, by the way, he can also run the ball a little bit, as evidenced by more than 700 yards rushing and 15 more touchdowns. It's a shame the Hornets are so beat up because if healthy, I think this could be a great game. But Country Day's defense has not been the same since losing Byers and Crude, and the loss of O'Connor means that the offense just won't be able to keep pace with the high-powered Trojans. It's been a good season for Country Day, but I'm, I'm afraid it'll end Friday night, and I'm picking Johnson County to win this one 35-17.